Hey there, YouTube. Corn Cobb Piper coming at you. It is Sunday evening. I uh, hope everybody's had a uh, great weekend so far. Um, little blast from the past. I got this for Father's Day. This is uh, New York Seltzer, uh, which was real big in the 80s, maybe into the uh, early 90s. I have probably have not had this since I was in junior high. So we're talking maybe 25 years. And I would, this was a gift. Uh, to me from Father's Day for, for my wife and kids and uh, 25 years and this was in big competition when I was a kid with another uh, sparkling uh, basically a seltzer water or sparkling flavored water which was uh, clearly Canadian and I wouldn't mind getting my hands on some of that uh, to try it again because it's been with that one too uh, you know 25 years so blast from the past let me get a taste of this That is as refreshing and sickingly uh, sweet as I remember, and just very, very good. That brings me back a little bit to my to my youth. So, for those of you who watched my video uh, about a week ago, uh, Wharf Valley Boy Tim was uh, nice enough. To send me off a, uh, a gift card for uh, smokingpipes.com and I got the box in a couple of days ago and uh, as part of my order I put together some stuff to make up uh, one of my own mixes and, and one of my own mixes that I like uh, quite a bit and everybody that uh, I've sent samples off to um, at least everybody that I've heard back from uh, has had only uh, good things to say about it. Now I've made a few other blends. Uh, none of them have really come close to being as good as this one. I've had some that were just not good at all. Uh, a couple that have been just okay. Uh, another one that was, you know, I guess kind of good, but n nothing exceptional. And I would say this one really is, uh, you know, an exceptional blend. So I'm going to do the box opening and then I'm going to go through quickly uh, just how I make the, the mix. Uh, just if you're interested in making some up for yourself, uh, you could have it. It's not a proprietary recipe or anything like that. Uh, you know, I'll never make money off of it. So really just share with you guys uh, how I do it. And, and like I said, if you care to, go ahead and try some uh, on your own. So here is the box uh, from smokingpipes.com. We'll go ahead and open this quickly. And I'll show you what I got. And I'll, I'll put the link again to Wharf Valley Boys uh, channel down below. Uh, Tim's just an awesome dude. He's got some great videos. He's actually doing some videos now too uh, where he's making up his own blends. Very, very interesting. Make sure you check those out. And I just want to say again to you, Tim, you know, personally, you know, thanks from the bottom of my heart, man. It's really, you know, really meant a lot to me that you sent me this. It's awesome, awesome gesture of you. And, uh, you know, if you'd like, go ahead and, uh, you know, try making some of your own corn cob piper mix as well. So, this was um, packaged with care for me by Aaron. So, thank you very much, Aaron. Lots of casting paper in here, which I needed. I was pretty low on, so that'll come in handy in the future. I like to always try to recycle uh, my packing supplies that I get. So we'll go through the order real quick. Uh, what I got, this is uh, two ounces of Lane One Q. Uh, everybody knows that one. One ounce of Lane Vanilla Black Cavendish. Two ounces of Peter Stockleby's English Oriental Supreme. Uh, two ounces of Lane Limited BS005, that's in English. One ounce of the BS005. Another ounce of the Peter Stockerby uh, English Oriental Supreme. And then we also got uh, some bat with a hat, and this is made by F&K. Uh, it's a sweet burly Virginia and Green River blend that tastes like heaven and is crazy as hell. Um, and I was watching one of the uh, the Dagner videos and uh, Jason, who is not a big fan of Burleys, or Burleys, um, aromatics, 
was commenting or actually had got some of this, and he was saying that the only two aromatics that he likes are uh, really Strauss, uh, Sleepy Hollow, and then Bat with a Hat. And being that uh, the Sleepy Hollow is one of my all-time favorite aromatics, I figured I'd pick up a tin of this as well. And they've been out of stock of this for quite a while, so I was pretty excited to see that it came back in stock and wanted to get, you know, make sure I got a tin of that. Uh, and then, of course, uh, usually when I put in an order uh, with either pipes and cigars or smoking pipes, um, I always get a cob pipe as well normally. And this is one that I currently uh, do not have, and this is the, uh, the Patriot. So uh, it's like a spindle style. It's got a pretty, pretty deep bowl there, uh, about yay deep. Um, so probably, you know, 40 minute smoke at least out of this guy. So definitely looking forward to, uh, you know, smoking that as well. Uh, I'm going to hold off on smoking this, um, because I'm making another video, which will be two weeks in the making. So you won't see it for a couple weeks. Uh, but it's another blend that I'm going to try my hand at. And if it's successful, I'm going to go ahead and name it for, uh, Wharf Valley Boy. So let's get to the uh, corn cob piper mix. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. I'll go ahead real quick and readjust the camera and we'll go ahead and get to mixing. All right, YouTube, so I'm back and I forgot to mention also in that order, I pulled it out and I forgot to come back to it, is uh, I'm still on the search for some um, Burley blends that I like. Uh, I figured I'd give my hand a try at some Cornell and Dio Big and Burley. Uh, this has some uh, lot of Kia in it, uh, so just hoping that maybe this will be be one that I like and can enjoy. That was also in the the box of the things that I got from Wharf uh, Valley Boy. So what you're going to need for this uh, corn cob piper mix, and there's not a lot to it, is uh, two Englishes. So uh, Peter Stockaby's uh, English. Oriental Supreme, uh, and I, I mix this up uh, four ounces at a time. So it's going to be 75% English, 25% aromatic. Uh, so basically it's a crossover English aromatic blend. The other um, English you're going to need is some Lane Limited uh, BS005. And then the aromatics you're going to need are um, Lane Limited a Vanilla Black Cavendish, and then some uh, Lane... Uh, RLP6, uh, which I actually got from Pipes and Cigars because uh, smokingpipes.com was out. So the, the, the way that this came, this blend came about was I had got some of this uh, Lane Limited BS005, which was an English, and I really just didn't care for it too much. It was okay, but nothing that I wanted to smoke often. And I also got, at the same time, some Peter Stockaby English Oriental Supreme, which I liked a lot. So I mixed 50-50 uh, these two together to see if it would turn out to be a better English, uh, which it was. But it still at that point was something that I was just not 100% sold on. And while it was more smokable, uh, still not the greatest of English. Uh, and then I had some aromatics that I really didn't care for as well, which was the Lane RLP6 and the Lane Limited uh, Vanilla Black Cavendish. Uh, so I decided to maybe mix some of the aromatics in there with it to see if I could make a blend that would be good. And through trial and error, uh, I got the mixture down correctly, uh, which was, like I said, 75% English, 25% uh, aromatic. And then I smoked it right away and it was good. I waited a week, I smoked it again, it was even better. And then once it hit the two week mark, it really, really at that point, in my opinion, became a very, very good smoke. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you now what I do to mix this up. So I just got a small bowl, a large bowl, and a scale. So we're gonna do three ounces of English to one ounce of aromatic here. So first off, we need an ounce and a half of the uh, Lane BS005. That's why I'm weighing this. So let's get an ounce and a half in here. Almost there. 
And don't worry if you go a little bit over, a little under. This doesn't have to be exact. So there we go. I got 1.52 ounces uh, in the bowl. Then we're just going to take this and go into the larger bowl now. Okay, next off, ounce and a half. Peter Stockaby's English Oriental Supreme. Almost there, got an ounce. Okay, and 1.54 ounces of that. Like I said, you don't have to be exactly precise. We're gonna go in here, into the big bowl. Okay, next up, we, get, we are gonna need a half of an ounce of the uh, Lane RLP6, and this is a uh, cocoa uh, chocolate flavored aromatic. Never really been a big fan of the chocolate aromatics. Uh, or the vanillas. I'm not really a big fan of uh, Lane 1Q. The reason that I ordered that Lane 1Q is because I'm going to use it in a mix. Um, but I do enjoy other aromatics quite a bit. So half an ounce of this. RLP6. Went a little over there. There we go. 0.54 ounces. Into the big bowl. And then last but not least, we're going to need um, half ounce of the uh, vanilla black Cavendish. There we go, 0.52 ounces, or actually 0.55 ounces, and into the large mixing bowl. And that's that. I mean, that's all that goes into the mix. Now what I do... And I would encourage you also is I do put on latex gloves when I do the mixing. Uh, the reason being is uh, no matter how good you wash your hands, they're always going to contain bacteria. And as you all know, if you add bacteria into a sealed, moist environment, it can induce mold growth, which I do not want in this blend. So better to be safe than sorry. I just throw the latex gloves on. And then I just go to mixing. Nothing super fancy here. Just want to make sure that everything is uh, fully incorporated together. And then what I'm going to do after this is uh, just go ahead and jar this up. Wait two weeks time. And we'll go ahead and uh, continue to smoking. So I know I've sent quite a bit of this stuff out. If you're one of the people that I've sent it to that never commented to what they thought about it, let me know. Uh, and be honest, you know, if you didn't like it, tell me. If you loved it, tell me. If you just thought it was okay, let me know. Just curious to what your thoughts are. If you didn't like it, it's not going to hurt my feelings any. Uh, I enjoy this stuff, and I'm making this mostly for me. Uh, and that's what's important is that we smoke... Um, smoke what we like and this is one that I definitely enjoy smells right so uh, with that I'm gonna go ahead and get this jarred up YouTube uh, thanks for watching like I said if you want to try some of this out real easy to mix uh, pretty inexpensive and as always YouTube keep on piping